Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own custom minifigure faces. And you can animate speech with them. Let's start with the things you need. Don't forget to ask for the milk too. Paper, pencils, rubber, just for sketching your faces. Water slide decal paper, compatible with your type of printer. In my case, I have an inkjet printer. And you need clear water slide decal paper instead of a white based. You need a fine paintbrush and white acrylic paint. Clear gloss spray paint. A scanner, printer, computer, roster graphics editor. I use GIMP just because it's free and there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube on how to use it, but you can also use Photoshop if you have that. A word processor like Microsoft Word. Oi, wake up. <laughs> Step one, draw your faces. Just start sketching out some characters. Go nuts with different personalities. Look up Google images for different inspiration. Just have fun with this bit. And if you want to animate your faces, you'll need different mouth shape templates to go off. So you look up on the internet, animating templates for different mouth shape mouth sounds. If we catch that cow, we can have milk with our tea. Step two, scan and digitize your faces. Scan your faces and upload them to a computer. This is where you need your roster graphics editor. So in my case, I use GIMP. Trace around on a new layer with a paintbrush tool, skin tone, color, so a dark brown, a light brown. I'll use some reds, and this is for lips, for eyebrows, for cheek outlines. I also draw thin vertical and horizontal lines, which border my faces. This is my guide to cut along when it comes to printing out. That way all my decals are standardized in their shape and dimension. Step three, prep for printing. So my face designs need to be 0.61 by 0.84 centimeters. I find GIMP isn't all that accurate printing the right dimensions. So I use this border that I've made, create my selection and I copy and paste into Word, modify the dimensions. I copy and paste this over and over onto my Word document. So that way, if I make any mistakes later on when I'm printing, when I'm cutting, I've got plenty more faces to work with. Step four, print your faces. Print your faces, you need your clear water slide decal paper and make sure you feed it into your printer the correct way. Step five, paint eyes and teeth. This is optional. If you want any whites on your faces, like eyes or teeth, you'll have to paint them on with your paintbrush because we're using clear water slide decal paper and most printers don't print white. Yikes. So get a very fine brush some water-based or acrylic paint and just dot your faces. You have to make it really fine. That's okay if you make mistakes. Like I said before, there's plenty of faces to work with here. You'll just have to be patient. Step six, seal with clear gloss. Give your faces a single coat of clear gloss spray paint. Make sure you do it outside because you need a lot of ventilation for this stuff. This is to seal your paint and your ink so that when you submerge them in the water later on, everything doesn't get all smudged and ruined. That's it for this video. In the next one, I'll show you how to actually apply your decals to your minifigure faces. I hope this video has been some help. If you want to see more videos to inspire you with stories or creativity, you should subscribe to King Billy Pictures. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.